Hi, this is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Today we are working on Andrew's truck. He's got a 2017 F-150. 3.5 EcoBoost. We're gonna put a catch can on this. We got a really reasonable catch can from China, a country that we love so much. If you decide you want this catch can, I've included an affiliate link in the description on this video. So just hit that affiliate link and it'll take you right to the catch can that we purchased. Uh, we were real happy with it. Uh, so give it a shot. It helps out the channel if you do that. Thanks for watching. I'll get back to the video. And uh, what's the brand? It's made in China. Gentlemen. 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 Let's see what it says. Oil catch can. <laughs> yeah, that's the brand. But anyhow, it's it's pretty well made. I'm impressed with the way it's made. It's, it's set up. It's got a bracket. It's got some pretty cool stuff. Um, Andrew's already looking to install the bracket, but it's got fittings. Uh, and uh, we're gonna show you how to install this. I'm not gonna go into super detail on why you need a catch can, but I'll tell you, it's not as necessary on these second gen and third gen vehicles. We're actually gonna install one on my 2024 F-150 that's out there. You have to be careful when you're installing these because it will void your warranty. Uh, Ford, I guess they don't like those catch cans on there. so. Uh, you don't want your drive train warranty voided, so if you do have to take it into the shop, you want to be able to remove that. So when you take the original the PCB hose that goes from the PCB valve to the intake, you want to make sure you save that line. And uh, if you do have to take it in, you'd want to remove your catch can. Uh, so that's something to think about and consider if you're going to put one in. Any turbocharged engine is going to have blow-by, and that blow-by will hit the back of those valves. And depending on how you drive the car, you'll either coke those valves up a little more. And I've seen valves on these second gens and they're not perfectly clean, even though they have the dual injection system. So anything you can keep from going into that fricking on the back, from the backside into the intake onto the valves is good. Especially if you're in that turbo, you're doing some towing or whatever. It really does cause quite a bit of blow by and you'll accumulate a lot more in the catch can. Also, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you keep that catch can empty and you know dump it. Don't, don't run it too long because it can cause you problems if you, if you let it overfill. So that's something you just wanna keep an eye on. Now, this thing's pretty cool. It's got a dipstick on it so you can check it for the oil level, which is kinda of cool. You can also use it as an ear wax cleaner, which is nice. Um, so it, it is kinda of handy. Why don't you open that catch can up, model it for me. Open it. There you go, he's trying to make all kinds of noise. But anyhow, you might wanna lube those threads a little bit with some Vaseline so it doesn't squeak. No, anyhow. Vaseline. <laughs> so it, do, it does have a little uh, diffuser here. It doesn't have a screen. So some of the nicer ones have screens, but for 40 bucks, what can you, what can you say? It's not, it's not bad at all. It comes with an extra O-ring, I think. Like I said, it came, comes with the hoses, the bracket, all the hardware necessary, and there's that extra O-ring. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. Check us out at Instagram at mancave underscore mayhem. Please, please, please subscribe. We can use the subscribers and we can use the views. Right, Andrew? Yeah, you can. I can, right, anyhow. We're gonna get this video started. Probably gonna need a 10 millimeter wrench to pull this cover off. You're also gonna to have to probably take the cap off this. I don't know if the cover runs through the cap on this. I believe it does. So you pop this cap and then you pull the cover. Eh. No, I don't think you need to pull the cap on this. So you're just gonna to have to uh, take those two front 10 millimeter screws out and then the cover should come off. This is on the second gen 27. All right, while Andrew's doing that, I'll say bad things about him, no. He's going to get this undone right now. See back here, that's that that cover fits in. Now that exposes everything. What we're focusing on right here is this hose right here. So you can see this is the EGR valve and this is fed right into directly into the intake. So Andrew's gonna go ahead and pull that off right now. You'll wanna save this because if you do go into the dealership, you wanna be able to pull that catch can and pop this back on if you're under warranty. 
to uh, you know make sure that they don't have a heart attack and and void your drivetrain warranty. Okay, we got one of these off. I want to show you guys how these work. So see, this has a little lever on it, and that pushes that out. If you can see that. So I'll demonstrate that on this. You flip this over, and this well, it should pull back. See how that slides back right there? And then you should be able to just slide that off. See how that just slipped right off? So now that the fittings on this new one or the, the catch can are a little different. So we're, we're gonna put those on and see, make sure they fit. Installed the 45 to the output and the 90 will go to the input. So we're, we're gonna get those hoses installed and then that. Andrew wants his right there, and explain why. Well, it, it'll just make it easier for that catch can to be removed, and just it makes it more serviceable, I think. And Andrew likes the idea of having it more serviceable. We checked the height of that. It looks like that thing's sticking up high, like it's going to interfere with the hood when you close it, but it doesn't. I suppose you could cut that bracket down if you needed to, but in this application, it's going to fit. So he's marking it now and he's gonna leave it as far forward as he can without it interfering with the hood. So that's what he's doing now. He's gonna mark it, mark it and then drill the two holes for it. And then from there, you can see he's got the holes marked. From there, we'll go ahead and mount that bracket. Yeah. Now Andrew's gonna apply the two clips that are provided. And those clips have a nut attached to the back of them which will make it pretty secure, I think. Hopefully he drilled the holes in the right spot so it'll fit. The holes are ovaled out. And now he's threading it in to check it. Now he's gonna go ahead and mount the bracket. Deburr the plastic so it'll go through. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna deburr the plastic and then mount the bracket. What kind of background music are you going to put in here? I don't know. I don't know if I'll put background music or I'll just put it where you're asking stupid questions. We can do that. It's pretty mean. Yeah. So now he's got it loosely mounted. With a 10 millimeter wrench and a, I mean 100, a 10... 100 foot pounds. 10, 10 millimeter <laughs> socket. Not crazy ape tight, but it should snug that bracket up pretty firm. You, you want that thing to stay put. You don't want it coming off in your engine. Pretty Ooh. good for Chino. Very nice for Chino. Now okay. you can start talking. What is that? This is a... Allen key, what? 100 it? inch pound. No, what, what size is the Allen key? This Rick? is a 530 seconds. Can you see it? 530 seconds Allen key for this which even though it's made in China, the 530 seconds fits. I'm sure there's a metric solution to that too. All right, so he's gonna get that off, then he's gonna mount this bracket to the other bracket, and we'll have two brackets that are married together, and then he's gonna remount the can onto the two brackets. Mm -hmm, the brackets. Brackets. All right, so Andrew actually put the screws into the bracket first, facing out, and the nuts will go on the back side of that. But you have to capture those first. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna run these hoses under the air box. We're trying, he's got a cover to deal with. On mine, I don't have a cover, so that's a good thing, I guess. Could be a bad thing, I don't know, but anyhow. So we're gonna run, route these hoses underneath. We were checking clearance as far as height on the hood, and I think it's gonna be fine. So we're gonna go ahead. This bracket can stay on the way we're mounting it, although he, yeah, he's probably gonna wanna put the bolt we're doing no the nuts. yeah we're doing the nuts okay so yeah so he's gonna mount that we'll mount that to the top of this and route those hoses underneath and hopefully he can get his cover back on so that's what we're doing now if we're going metric it's a four millimeter four millimeter metric all right so what we've done is we've mo loosely bolted this on now i'm gonna hold this while andrew puts the nuts into this bolts bolts and again, it's a four millimeter Allen or a whatever I said before. Want to do everything loose, 
and then everything after you'll tighten down. Did you want to route those hoses first before you get that? Okay, if we have to, we can pull that intake. Kind of have to manipulate it. The other thing you can do is cut the top of that bracket if you decide you want to, because it kind of interferes with that catch can going on and off. You can see how that bracket's just a little too high. So we're gonna get that done and we'll move on to the next step. We got the catch can in. We got the hoses ran underneath. Now we're gonna see if we can get these to fit on. And once those are fitted, then all he has to do is put the cover back on and this job is done. So now Andrew's gonna place the hoses. 45 goes to there, 90 goes to there. All right, and that is completely done. Hopefully the cover will go on and we won't have any problems. I think that's gonna do it on this uh, catch can install. And now we'll move on to the 2024 and see how difficult that is. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please say you All right, there we go. <laughs> it's kind of hokey. Yeah, I might make a different bracket. And I might yeah, he doesn't like the bracket, and, and I don't care for the bracket either, really. So Andrew's thinking he may put it back by the firewall or make a bracket. There's a good spot right here that a bracket would attach pretty nicely back in this area, but it's over the computer, so that's another thing to be concerned about. So anyhow. It worked. It works, and now we're going to run it, and we'll see how everything goes. We'll keep you guys updated on how much oil we catch. We're gonna harvest oil from the engine, right? Yep. Oil harvesting 101. When do you have to be done? All right. We are moving on to the 2024 F-150 3.5 EcoBoost. It should be easier because we practiced on this one. Now we're under the hood of my 2024 F-150 and we're looking after this right here, same scenario, right? Very similar. This is the EGR valve, and that goes into the intake right there. So hopefully we got enough clearance. Looks like there's some other items on this, on the top of this engine, and uh, not as much space in this area, but I think we'll be okay. We'll be able to get to this, and we may have to make some changes to that bracket because of the location of the battery, but I think I'm gonna lower the bracket down a little bit. I don't like the height of that bracket, so I may cut it down. All right, it's a little darker now, but we are, we are rigging this up. Andrew's cutting that bracket. I want that bracket a little shorter, so the catch can will sit down a little lower on the battery area, because this later model hood is different. So he's cutting that while he's cutting that, I'm gonna go ahead and get this rigged up. We're not gonna really do a how-to on this one because you already know how we did the first one. Process, but we did get it done and I'll show you what we did. Now this is the 2024. There's not much difference. I didn't have a cover. Um, there's a place for a cover, but I guess the, uh, you know, the XLT doesn't come with the cover. Anyhow, you can see we got it all ran the same. I shortened the hoses up a little bit and I also cut this bracket down so it's easy to get to the back of this catch can. I also put a zip tie on this going to the battery strap, kind of cheesy. I think I might fab a bracket just to go over the battery just to hold this a little more stable. I think the weakest point of the whole setup is that bracket, don't you think, Andrew? Like yep. Andrew doesn't like the way his is set up. It's kind of flimsy, but I think this will be fine for me. It clears the hood. So anything to make this uh, EcoBoost a little more reliable and keep that oil off the back of the valves. Again, like I said before, <clears throat> you got the dual injection on this. You got port and uh, direct injection on this and the port does clean the back of the valves, but there are times that you're still dumping oil onto the back of those valves and it's going back into your intake. So this will help possibly keep that intake just a little bit cleaner and uh, gives you a little bit more peace of mind. All right, in case you can't see, I'm not sure if you can or not, but this is just after about 300 miles of driving, and I've already got oil in this catch can. So I just want you to see that these things actually do work. So 
I'm super pleased with the results of this. And this would be oil that would be going into the engine on the intake and hitting the back of the valves. And yes, this has a dual injection system, but it isn't gonna clean everything 100%. So this does help. It gives you a little bit of an advantage and also prevents some of that blow by going in too. That's gonna about wrap it up for this video. If you haven't yet, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, even when he's in the video. And just remember, you're a man and my man keeps. Causing mayhem, baby. Thanks for watching. Remember, subscribe. Yeah. Remember, subscribe and learn how to talk. I thought it was like and then share. <laughs> like, and share, subscribe. subscribe. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, sport. <laughs>